Dude, this is freaking crazy, man. This is definitely not safe. This is what you call a poop churner right here, boys. So this is the actual nuclear plant discharge here. Oh, that, yeah, there, yeah, there's a bite right there. Yeah, it's swimming to the left. Yeah, but I, I don't think it's a... All right, boys and girls, before we get into today's video, I want to share a quick word from the video sponsor, Skillshare. So Skillshare is actually an online community with thousands of different classes for creative and curious people alike. There you can explore new skills, you can develop your current interests, and get lost in creativity. It's curated specifically for learning, so that means there's no ads, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. They have classes for illustration, graphic design, photography, film and video, the works, anything you can think of. Now me personally, I was scrolling through all the classes, there's actually more than one that I was excited about to take myself, but the one that I keyed it on was the portrait photography class that talks about shooting and editing Instagram worthy pictures. So I'm always trying to improve my Instagram game. I love taking the candid shots of me and Badge and whoever else on the boat, but I also like taking really high quality pro photos and then turn around editing them, make them look really cool. Now, the first thousand subscribers, that means you guys, that clicks the link right at the top of the description, will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. That way you can explore your creativity just like I've been doing. Guys, it's a great program. You can actually learn something. There's a lot of you that are aspiring YouTubers or Instagrammers or TikTokers, whatever the case may be, Skillshare has got something for you. Now, back to the video. What is up, folks? New camera, who dis, huh? Can you guys even tell? I'm always curious if you guys, if the viewers can tell a difference in cameras when we switch up. This is a really nice new camera, but I bet you a lot of you guys can't even tell a difference because I can't tell a difference half the time. There he is. Badge the Flage. <laughs> oh, okay. Dude, the water fizzle. <laughs> <laughs> the water is <laughs> that, that, that was a whole, whole breacher. What were you gonna say? The water's what? It feels nice, man. It oh, smells I'm... like dead animals. You yeah, that? it smells pretty dead That's out here. That's a river, though. Yeah, it's, it's a just river. A river. Just kind of how it goes. Yeah. Nice fish camo, by the way. Yeah, can you even see me right now? No, I, I just saw your head yeah. floating, and I was just like, wow, ears. You can get it. GoonSquad.com. Good Lojo. Hey, I like it, my guy. Thank yeah, you. I got you, bro. Even though Badge is not the cameraman anymore, sometimes I ask him to hold the camera for a second, and I feel super bad about it. Well. I mean, I feel belittled. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's we won't do this very much, very much more. Just because I'm driving the boat. I mean, I could probably vlog with one hand and drive the boat, but it might be a little unsafe. So we're back at the river today, boys, but a different stretch of the river. Now, I'm not going to bore you guys with a ton of intro stuff because we just want to get to fishing. But uh, let's see, the water temp, it says 87, but it's dropping quick. So we're probably even out like 85 or something, surface temp, which sounds really, really hot, which it is. But compared to like lakes and ponds, it's pretty cool. Because lakes and ponds are like in the 90s now where we live. Shaved head, looking pretty sweet still. Mm, glistening. Let, let it grow out a little bit more. Now this particular stretch of the river has some nuclear discharges. That's right. This is not clickbait. There are nuclear power plants along this river at the, at the area we are now. And there's different, there's like what, two or three different discharges that yeah. we saw? Yeah. And we didn't even go down all the way last time. Oh yeah, true. There's a massive dam as well. There's a massive dam that we've never fished. So there's a lot of area in here that could be good fishing. Let's cut the intro short. Let's get straight to fishing. Straight up fishing today. No gimmick, no nothing. Hopefully we can catch some more river bigs. New Stratic in the water, baby. Or not new Stratic, but one that's not, that's still with us. This is what you call a poop churner right here, boys. This is an old squirmer. What this is, 
You said you had confidence in four lures. Four lures. What were the lures? Frog, hound, jig, and Texas ring? That's it. Well, hell, boy. You want we... a jig, well? Well, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do, so I'm just going to start chucking. I do know this is a freaking poop spot right here. It's only 12 foot deep, though. That is weird. You'd think, like, in the middle of the river, it would be super deep. This reminds me of, like, the bathroom at Taco Bell on a Tuesday <laughs> afternoon. Oh, on a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. Yeah, I have no idea the strategy or what strategy should be in a situation like this. I know this is weird. God, I don't want to get in the poop water, but it's like, feels kind of inevitable. <laughs> it's a hard line. It's a hard poop line. Yeah, I'm going right in it. It's deeper over here and there is some bait. I'm seeing some bait kind of around. Oh, it's actually, it's really deep right there where the, where the, the discharge is. I'm not sure if this is a nuclear discharge because there's a few of those downstream that are really big, even bigger than this one. I want to get around kind of behind it, you know, or kind of like fall into it more. Everything is getting pulled that way. Oh, you're going in it. Oh boy. I can't even like work my lure. It's just getting moved so fast. Yeah. It's crazy. I wonder if we got kind of behind it though. Hit that rock and maybe around that pipe. Yeah. Yeah, that, now that looks like a good spot because you're near that oxygenated water, but you're not in the poop storm. Right. Whew, man. There's some methane going on in here. Yeah. There's a methane cloud. Big game. No. Uh. Okay, so this is the actual nuclear plant freaking uh, discharge here. That should be good. So right up there, you guys can see some nuclear plant stuff going on. I want to get close to this thing, but I don't want to get dangerously close. This looks pretty good though. You got to figure be some fish around here somewhere. Some bait running right there. That's cool. What about a little banger in the mix? Fish. Come on, boys. He don't feel big. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a squiggler. A little spotted bass. <laughs> oh! Jimmy! Jimmy, no. Jimmy don't show your on YouTube, Black Bass. My guy, I think it's a spot. His, his diamond pattern looks like a spot. Either way, this ain't exactly what we're going for here. Not exactly the stud that we're looking for, but that's good news. I mean, first cast on with the banger. Get back, buddy. First cast on the banger, dude. Not bad, dude. That ain't on bad. The rock. On the rock. Yeah, well, I was off the rock a little bit, but yeah, that's, that's, not, that's not a bad sign. No, that's... I'm kind of excited now. I'm pretty sure last time we fished this, we didn't catch a fish. Yeah, we didn't. So the fact that we pulled up and caught one on the first cast, I, mean, I don't want to hype myself up too much, but can't be bad. Let's get a little bit closer to the rocks this time. Dude, he hit, and then I was just yanking him in. I was like, oh boy. When you can barely tell that you're hooked up, that's never a good sign. Kind of feels like there's a minnow, like a live minnow down there. Yeah, I was like, what if it's a big one? No, there was no way, unfortunately. That's a good, good sign. I'm also getting like a little bit of a spray, you know? Yeah. A little spray from the poop water, so that's kind of cool. Refreshing. Really refreshing to get a little poop mist to the face. Although it doesn't sink as bad here, though. <laughs> this doesn't seem like poop, poop discharge. This seems just like discharge. normal nuclear waste discharge. Right. So it's got a little bit of an odor, but it's not terrible. Do it. Is that the jig? Yeah. Don't you do it, you selfish bastard. Back at this this rock. This tree. I think I'm gonna follow you up with the old trench hog. It's an interesting choice. What made you go with the trench hog? Well, 
figured if we had a jig and a trench, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't get me wrong. I, I'm intrigued to see if it'll work, but I was just curious as to your thought process. You got him? Oh man, you were, <laughs> you were changing hands like you were about to freaking schlang. God, it feels so heavy down there. Rock, it's like the, the it's current. rock, yeah, rock current. Sometimes you pick up and you're just like, man, I would, I just think there's a fish up there. I don't know if that's rock or a fish. I just can't tell anymore. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's rock or a fish. Cause I definitely felt whatever you were just feeling. It, dude, it might just be the, the rapids hitting us up against rocks. I don't know. Oh, that, yeah, there, yeah, there's a bite right there. Yeah, exactly. He's swimming to the left. Yeah, but I, I don't think it's a... Oh, baby. Oh, shoot. Oh, dude. <laughs> Let's well, go. I, I felt it, too, but it was just, it just seemed odd. Woo, yes. Fight me. Hit me. Okay, we're upgrading spotted bass size here. All right. Slight upgrade. Spotted bat, bass position. Nice. Okay. Man, two bass already out of this big piece of, I was gonna say big piece of cover. It's not quite what it is. There is some, some cover down there, some structure like rock at the very bottom, but this freaking discharge is paying dividends already. I am so pumped about the trench hog getting tore up right now. Really exciting. Get back in there and see if anybody else is home. Is he pecking at you? Yeah. Oh man. Let me follow you up. Where you at? Oh hey. Got him right there. That's where he is. Oh ho, ho, ho. I pulled it out of the fish's mouth. Did you really? Either that or it was on the back side of a rock, but it kind of felt like he shook it loose. I like this rock, man. Oh, this is great. There's a, there's a ton of it, too. If we're looking to upgrade size and we know they're on the rocks, if we keep getting bites on the rocks, we need to move off the rock some, like you're doing, and start slow dragging that sucker, which it's painful to do, man. It ain't fun to fish that way, but it's kind of the freaking move. How is it? That feels better than the last one, but it's on a reaction rod, so I can't really tell. He's running right at me, too. Eh, he's about the same size. Look at these spots fighting, man. You gotta love it. Yeah, they're fun to catch. They're so freaking cool. Yeah, look at him fighting. Look at that. It's incredible. Well, that's the thickest one so far, I believe. Healthiest. He was barely hooked. Look at that, dude. Right in the side of the lip. Don't. Don't. Look at the look at the gut on that guy. Look at the belly. Dude, he is eating. <laughs> He's double cheeked up. <laughs> on a Tuesday. My dude, freaking got a belly full of something. Look, he's got a fish uh, fish fin in his mouth. Oh, that's sick. I don't sick. know if you can see it, but deep down in there is a fish fin. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, sticking out. He just ate like a bluegill or something. My dude's eating freaking, and he's out here trying to eat a freaking shad. Shotgun shad, baby. My new favorite color for the Guggen hard baits. It's got that chartreuse little back right there. And then he's just a sexy shad, basic side color. I just like that little neon on the back, that little bit of chartreuse. Shotgun shad, man. I'm telling you, I've been catching some nice fish on that this year. It's a new color. GuggenSquad.com. Promo code Lojo. Man, cranking is really fun, man. <laughs> when you're catching fish. I know a lot of people don't like to crank. You're not a big crank guy, huh? It, I mean, if it's a good bite, I don't like doing it. Yeah. But if they're biting it. I guess you could say that about anything, really. It's like, yeah. well, I don't really want to do it, except for like top water. You always want to do that, but oh. or I do, but yeah. I like I like cranks, man. I like lipless cranks, but square bills really come around on them in the years. It's just versatile bait, man. I think it's nice in the river too. A lot of rocks and stuff. He was like right off that little shade right there, little plants. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. There's oh, deer. There's deer. Wow. What the heck are y'all doing? It's a little baby deer. Guys, it's too hot for y'all to be out like this. Get him go. I heard something moving. Like, dude, they blend in so well. <laughs> 
how I didn't even see him. That's crazy. A couple of white tailed deer just yeah. chilling. I thought it was Daryl in the bushes again. <laughs> in a deer suit? <laughs> this Christmas <laughs> reindeer suit? Hey, boys. Hey, boys. Y'all catching the thing? <laughs> Daryl, if you're watching this, I love you. And we love you so much. Ouch. That's a finger burn. Well, this looks kind of nice right here, man. It's a good depth, dude. This is what we were catching them on earlier. Got rock, we got structure, really crazy looking structure, by the way. And we got the right water temp, maybe. All right, so quick little update here. We've caught three fish, three nice little spotted bass. And yeah. uh, well, we, we've had some other bites though, right? I had a, one other bite. You've had a couple bites, right? I want a big one. Well, I'm holding down on a big one. I know. I think, you know, I'm really happy for a new area. We're doing fine. Yeah. But we've got to find something. I don't know. I think more rock is kind of the key. Finding more rock and more sloping bank. Um, I, all that structure back there, the fact that we didn't pull one fish off there is a gosh darn sin. Yeah, it's not right. And unbelievable. Let's, uh, let's keep on moving. Keep on bouncing around. The good part is we've only explored about 20% of the river so far. The Mike's Hard Lemonades are cool in there, nice and cold, even though we don't drink, but you know, got them in there just in case, right? That's right. What's the strat here, man? I'm what you got going on here? trying to ice down the toes. Oh, wow. You know, they say big, the- Big toe ice guy? Yeah, they say the way to cool down your body is straight toe action, so. Straight toe ice. I'm, hey, get your hands off the wheel there, guy. Well, you're going straight to freaking well, back. The river's 80,000 feet wide, Oh, you okay? got a wide angle wind. You made it look way <laughs> wider than it was. <laughs> Dude, let's get back to freaking fishing. All right, man. Well, we found the most violently running dam in Northeast Asia. <laughs> and now we're about to die. But first, we about to catch a fish, boy. Get, that, get off me. Oh, where's my crankbait at? Where's my crankbait, man? Stop. Oh, I broke it off. I hate myself. You're doing a lot. Whee! You got this. You want it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that hole by the wall, dude. It gets crazy. Look at those fish, man. There are tons of fish in that hole. Dude, dude, drop, try to drop that joker down as close to the wall as you can. There's a giant hole on live scope right next to the wall. God, it's really deep, dude. It's like over, it's like 25 feet deep right up against it. But out here it's 16 feet deep. Oh, dude, the hole is just right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming out of it. It doesn't even go down all the way. That's wild. Oh, you can see all the shad, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. Them little jokers are freaking scooting from something. Dude, this is freaking crazy, man. This is definitely not safe. Should we be this close at all? Jesus. I want to throw it in there so bad. You know you do too. Ah! Dude, if I hook a good fish, there's 0% chance. Chanch. Oh my god, look how fast it's my line's running. God get it in. I'm gonna lose the crank. Please no. Oh my. Did you get oh I got mine out by the grace of God. Woo! Damn boy, that was close. <laughs> wow. Well, this is the most violent dam I've ever tried to fish. This is freaking nuts, man. Are the dams where you live on the river this bad? This is crazy. Look at this. It's crazy. I've never seen a dam like that. It is. It's raging. It's not even like flowing. It's raging. We've given raging dam fishing a chance. Luckily, we passed a few really good looking spots. We've got a creek, um, a really cool like, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. We've got a bunch of areas marked that could be very promising on the way back to the ramp because we got some thunderstorms coming our way. You can see them kind of just uh, just over the trees. Oh, there goes my crank. Oh no, she popped out. Look at that. Look at God. All right, ladies and gents, we got one more spot to fish. That's pretty much all the time we've got. All right, Froggy, you want to throw the hound? Yeah, throw the hound. I'm thinking with the weather change, plus all the, all the Oh gosh, right the tree. Plus all the good luck me and Badge have had lately with top water and creeks when the waters are flowing. I think top water is clearly the move. 
especially when you're trying to put a big one in the boat right at the end of your day. There's not many things you can throw better. Last guess. <clears throat> we gotta get out of here for multiple reasons, and now the weather's getting ominous on us too. All right, can't do it no more. Can't do it. Gotta get out of here. Well, folks, unfortunately, we're gonna have to wrap things right here. Our adventure is over, and also, unfortunately, all of our fish catching was done very early on. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. It was certainly fun. It's always fun on the river, and it's always fun going to a different part of the river where you can explore a little bit. I put my Team Guggen jersey on, thinking that maybe it would help, you know, like channel my inner tournament angler. Unfortunately, things only went downhill for me once I changed it. But yeah, they're available now, GuggenSquad.com. And there's a black one over there, too. That's what that one is. Badge was trying to get his luck up, too, but uh, it didn't really work. Anyways, folks, hope you're subscribed to the channel. Hopefully you're liking these videos. Make sure you're checking out Badger's channel, see what he's up to. I love you guys so much. Make sure you get in that comment section. Give me ideas for future videos. Is there a boat coming? Or is that a lawnmower? I don't know. Guys, I love you. I'm out of here.